Western New York is in what's called the path of totality, a narrow band in which the sun gets completely covered by the moon's shadow during that total solar eclipse. It's going to happen around 3.05 p.m. As we all know, a year can fly by pretty fast. That's why various partners in our region held a kickoff event today to talk about what they're planning. The Science Museum here already has an exhibit set up. They're planning on planning viewing parties at county parks like Chestnut Ridge, maybe even one at Salem Field. A solar eclipse beer is also in the works. Hundreds and thousands of people traveled to see these events, so they are also good for local business. And while there are several other cities like Dallas and Indianapolis in the path of totality, they want to get the word out about Buffalo and Western New York. Partial solar eclipse is cool in and of itself because it covers a portion of the sun and leaves a crescent behind, but the truly remarkable part is totality when it really covers all the visible portion of the sun. You can take your eclipse goggles off at that point and for the first time actually look at the sun because the sun is covered up and it leaves the corona behind the prominences the flares that you normally think of when you draw a you know kindergarten sunshine with all the little rays of sun coming out you're seeing those rays and it really is magnificent yeah the eclipse again 305 p.m on april 8 2024 it's only going to last around four minutes paisley said and he recommended buying those goggles early if you want to get the full viewing experience Erie County is buying a bunch of goggles to hand out to county residents. However, they're still working on handing out the plans for when that will happen. Visit buffaloniagara.com is going to be the dedicated place to find out where and when all these events are happening. We're going to link you on WGRZ.com, but once these plans are formally announced, I got the sense a lot of this is still being planned out or falling into place. But fortunately, the date and time aren't changing. In the Information Center, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.